everyone, welcome back to Mention with Monroe, where I cook shit. Today we are going to be making spiked hot chocolate. I know it is spring, but you know, some places in the United States or wherever else, it's still cold outside and a nice spiked hot chocolate is always the best. When it's cold outside, you may snuggle up and watch, I don't know, something. The OA. So today I'm going to be showing you an easy version and also a homemade version. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it right now. Jacob puts everything too high for me. I can't see anything in our kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the easy version because it's easier. So I heated up some hot water. You can also use hot milk if you would like. Uh, I would just follow the directions on whatever pre-made hot chocolate thing you own. I just got the Nestle Classic. They've been doing it for, for years. I don't know how long, but for years. So I'm gonna pour about a cup in here. Yeah, a cup is about, I would say about one serving, depending on how big of a mug you have. So I'm gonna take my mixture. The thing says to put two tablespoons of mix for each three-fourths cup of water. So I'm gonna do about three tablespoons. And I'm gonna give it a good whisk, a good whisking. And it should dissolve and make a, a nice, rich hot chocolate. So once that's all well incorporated, we're gonna add our alcohol next. So the alcohol is gonna stay the same for both recipes. Um, but what I like to do is use Irish cream, a classic one is Bailey's, but I just got like some generic brand from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna fill up half of the shot with Bailey's. And then the other half I'm gonna do whiskey, just straight up whiskey, and I'm using Jack Daniels honey. It's a little bit sweeter, that's why I like it, but you can use regular whiskey if you would like. And I'm just gonna dump it straight in there. So what I like to do for my spiked hot chocolates, I just like to make it, for every cup of hot chocolate, I do one shot of alcohol. And then I'm gonna serve it. You can really smell the whiskey. And it fills up to one cup. A little bit of whipped cream on top. And what I like to do is put a, sprinkle a little bit Oh shit, or a lot of it, of cinnamon on top. And there is your easy version. Okay, so now we're gonna do the homemade version. So this recipe calls for milk and water. I like to use both. So I just put in two cups of whole milk and I'm gonna add it to... <laughs> Splash zone, sorry. And I also have two cups of water. Don't mind that it looks milky. It's because, well, there was milk in there before. And I'm gonna kind of let it heat up over like a medium heat. Please keep an eye on it because if you don't, it will start to curdle. <laughs> Another way you could do this if you're worried about curdling and all that stuff, you can just put the milk in the microwave <laughs> and do it that way and heat it up in 30 second increments. But I like to do it this way. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this to heat up, and once it's pretty hot, we're gonna start adding in all our other ingredients. Show us what we're working with. It's literally the same thing you saw before, but it's but hot now. <laughs> I see steam coming off of it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit so it doesn't fuck up on us. Okay, so I'm gonna dump in half a cup of sugar, and I'm gonna incorporate that with my whisk. Okay, so next up, I'm adding in a cup of semi-sweet chocolate, and I'm going to mix that in. Okay, I'm gonna add in the other half of the chocolate. Very chocolatey. Jacob, say something to the fans. I love my fans, and I love my haters too. I love you all. Okay, next I'm doing <laughs> about a, like a pinch or two of salt. Okay, so I'm doing what I did in the first recipe that I showed you, and I'm, I just did the half Bailey's, half 
Honey Jack whiskey and I'm pouring it in there and I'm gonna add three more shots to this. Perfect, now we're gonna combine all of that together carefully. Kinda got a very... Right capacity. More capacity spot. here. All right, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my creation and pour it on in. If you don't want all those chocolate chunks, you can strain it, but we want all the chocolate goodness, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mmm. We don't mess around. And there you have it. A nice cup of spiked hot chocolate. Both easy if you want to make it in a jiffy and people will just call you, you know, like 15 minutes ago and they're like, hey, I'm coming over and they don't you know, give you a heads up about a week ago and you have to be like, oh shit, how am I gonna serve these people? And you have to like find a, a frozen pizza deep in your freezer to serve them. And then you're like, well, what do I do for drinks? All I have is whiskey and this Nestle hot chocolate. Oh, this is a very specific example. Or you can be bougie and do this. <laughs> so you have options. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you make this before summer rolls around. I swear it's like right around try the corner. It. You gotta try it, wait. Oh yeah, sorry. All right, now how does it taste mm. going into your belly? Warm and party. Like it's meant to be here. But yeah, thanks you guys so much for watching. If you do make this, please let me know in the comments. And if you do like this video, give it a like. If you want to watch more stuff from me, subscribe. And that's it. <laughs> Happy munching.